Guys, this is Michael and I want to walk you guys through a dashboard I built for a, um, a construction client. So they remodel uh, kitchens and bathrooms and things like that, but I kind of just replace all their data with some sample fake data. But the idea is that you have a spreadsheet like this where you enter in all of your um, client's information. Now this is all fake data, right? But so they're basically entering data like, um, con like the date the contract is started, like a last name. Um, you know, the address, city, state, uh, what kind of job it is, or the referral channel, which sales agent took care of it, um, and then like the status, whether it's a prospect or then the contract amount, right? So this is a um, pretty basic spreadsheet. I've included little things like, you know, year, month, and then like from like all of the other rest of the years, like 2016 is grouped up here, 2017 is grouped up here. So a lot of businesses like real estate companies, construction companies, whatever, they enter in data like this, right? And then we have like drop down menus for, for a select, like, you know, for like drop down channels over here. Um, we might add in like a marketing spend section, things like that. But the cool thing is um, kind of what it feeds into, because if you have all of this, that's great, but you don't really know what's going on, right? So I've built this dashboard in Google Data Studio and in some ways, it's better than building just a regular dashboard in here because if you have a lot of data, then it's going to scale better and then there won't be like broken formulas and things like that. It is a bit more complicated to set up, blending the data, things like that, but I can kind of walk you guys through um, the final product of it. So here you can basically select the date. So you can select anything from... Let's say the last 30 days, uh, let's see, last 30 days, hit apply. And it's going to update the information based on whatever date you want it to kind of um, report by, right? In this case, it was the contract date started. So they can basically see all of the total sales, the total number of jobs from the last 30 days. And then this is going to compare it to the previous 30 days. So let me change this back to um, this year to date. So... Um, like I said, this is the total number of sales, total number of jobs, and it's all based on this spreadsheet here, right? Based on whatever rules that we place. So, you know, if there's a contract amount, then we're going to count it as a complete job and count it as a sale, things like that. And then um, over here, we have a year to year comparison so they can kind of see year over year how they are progressing. So they have, you know, 2017, um, a slight drop in 2018, and then and now they're increased in 2019, right? So they can kind of just check year over year growth. And this is a conversion flow. So in this spreadsheet over here, there are certain things, certain rules we have in place that mark it as a lead, a prospect, and then a finally a closed client, right? So out of all the data here for this year period, there's 176 total leads. 48 of those became a prospect, which means they probably had an appointment set or something like that. And then 37 became a full a full on uh, client with a contract. So here we have kind of their uh, conversion flow percentage. So from leads to prospects, it was 27.3%. That was an increase of 68% over the previous year. And then from here, prospects to clients, 77%, which was a 22% decrease from the last year. And then here we have like a sales agent. A lot of companies want to see performance by sales agents. So um, here I just put like an average job total just so they got it. So the, our, my client knows their average um, job, how much the contract is worth. Um, but down here we have like a uh, sales um, uh, jobs and total sales by, by sales agent. So you can kind of sort it however you want. You can sort it by by either by jobs or you can sort it by total sales, uh, whatever you want to see, right? And then down here, there's kind of like a grand total. And then here's a bar chart to kind of just visualize um, uh, the differences between the different sales people. So down here, we have a referral channel. That's important for a lot of business, businesses to know. They want to know how many jobs they get from certain marketing channels, how much the jobs are worth, things like that. So this is really cool. So these are the different advertising channels that someone might use. I just put random, random advertising channels. And then the cool thing is we can set it up to kind of drill, um, kind of change what we're looking at. So right now we're looking at the total number of jobs per channel, right? But what if you want to see the number of sales? So you can just click on here and click on sales. And now we can actually see how much each marketing channel contributed to actual contracts. So that's uh, really useful, something you can't really do in a spreadsheet. Over here, now we have a uh, job type. So 
some companies, you know, they have uh, they have certain jobs based on specific categories. So if it's like a construction company, maybe it's a kitchen job or a bathroom job or a master bathroom job or whatever. So here we can see the number of jobs by job type. And again, you can kind of drill it down. So let's say I want to see the number of sales per job type. I just have to click on that. And now I can easily see, OK, the kitchens have given me, you know, one point four million dollars worth of sales. But now what if I want to see the average sales? I can just click on here. The way that it's set up now i can see the master bathrooms actually have the highest average sales the whole house kitchen bathrooms and so forth right and then here we have like a location breakdown um this is kind of this is really cool so um they pretty much operate in two states i kind of jumbled the information so it's not really accurate but um so this is pennsylvania and new jersey they see here they have 20 26 jobs here and then if i want to drill down to city i just click on this down arrow now i can see okay how it's dispersed by city. So this is a really great dashboard. Um, one thing that's kind of missing is like a goals dashboard, which would take a bit more work, but basically um, I would input a way for them to input their goals and then they can see how their sales are doing against specific goals that they have. So um, yeah, this is a really cool tool. If you have a business like this, where you enter in data um, like based on leads and then you want to track it down to the sales amount, uh, conversion rates, things like that. This is a really great tool to use to, uh, to, to kind of like visualize your data in a way that won't break and it can scale as with, with a ton of data. You can have thousands and thousands of rows and it's not going to be an issue. So um, I hope you guys like this video. Um, leave any comments for any questions that you guys have below. And then, um, yeah, I'll leave my contact information in case anyone wants something similar to this built for them. Feel free to shoot me an email and we can kind of discuss and uh, talk about it. Great. Thank you, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe this video. And um, thank you.